Hi guys, so today we do another Project Pen update and let's just get right started. I will start with the empties. So one empty is this Black Magic Mascara. This one really surprised me how quickly that dried out and literally there was nothing good at them. I even shown a torch to it to make sure. But um, it was better than the other Ayeko Mascara, the blue one, which was like um, with um, I think caffeine in there. But this one just dried out super quickly, so that was a bit disappointing because it was a better mascara than the other one, but there was literally nothing to get here anymore. So that's already an empty. Then I also emptied up a lip product. This is the Kiko Milano number 800. This was like a gold lip shine and I dicked into it because it was actually a really nice one. But then at some point I also gave up. By the way, I would really recommend if you have a lip product you like, dig into it because this one went like this much down so I would say nearly half of what it was maybe in full size I don't know but that really surprised me how much there was actually down there so empty that one then I also um, finished up the long-lasting eyeshadow stick and um, this one was not a surprise because um, I used it up fairly consistently the last few months so we were here last time and now it's down here and it's gone it's gone very happy then also an empty. The spray I just added last month, the Hyaluronic Plumping Mist. I used it every day though and it was quite warm and my skin felt it needed so I used it sometimes during the day um, over the makeup. I used it maybe at least once a day in the morning and then sometimes even twice a day in the middle of the day I would just spray my face again with it. So yeah, you go quite quickly through them. I do not 100% like the mist on that one. It's quite a strong mister which goes in your face. Um, I think if the mister would be a bit finer it actually would also last a bit longer because it's quite strong mist coming out of that one then not really in empties but these two foundations so this is the um perry cone md no makeup foundation and the pat mcgrath lab skin fetish foundation this was in the color light too and the perry cone was like light to medium um both of them didn't match me this one was too dark this one was too light I mixed them up together and they are like a really really good match. I would nearly say my perfect match at the moment and I, I wanted to tackle these ones next because they have quite some skincare ingredients in them and I do not want these ones to get out. So I prefer to finish them up even though I like them but it's not something I want to keep in my collection to be expensive and go off and not be usable anymore. So this is why I want to use them up. And I have them in that bottle, which was my um, Glow Recipe Watermelon Juice Pink Juice Moisturizer. I still had the glass bottle. I cleaned it out. I disinfected it with um, isopropyl alcohol and then I mixed the two foundations in there. And now we are here with the foundations. So this will be my foundation. It's quite a nice pump bottle. Um, I did that already two weeks ago. So it works out really well. We were actually two weeks ago, we were up here and now we're already down here. So let's see. I try to use it not too heavy. I try to use a light hand now because actually I find this is such a good match and it's quite now in the warmer months, it's quite nice to just have a light layer of foundation and I really, really enjoy it with that. But I will not hold on to the packaging, so I will chuck them into my empty spin. Then products with progress. My perfume. Oh, let me check. So my perfume is now down here. It should be finished by next month. I really enjoy it in the summer months. It's from Tommy Hilfiger, the girl. It's just like, it's not the most amazing perfume, but it's somehow, I have memories with this one when I smelled. I quite like it for summertime. It's nice, fresh scent, and um, it's not too in your face, which is quite nice as well. So, But it will be empty, I'm pretty sure, next month, because we're literally down there now. Then I also have quite some progress with my, whoopsie, with my highlighter and my blush as you can see pans are growing i might actually repress that one because the blush is getting a bit crack and the blush the highlighter is getting a bit crackly and i quite enjoy it when they're repressed and just a bit easier to use i know people who really like to see pen might not like that but i want to enjoy the makeup when i use it so if i enjoy it more if it's a bit repressed i might actually repress that one again um, i'm happy i did repress it in here by the way super happy yeah that's it then what else? Um, this one was my Wet in Wild Color Icon bronzer. There will be a separate video of me um, repressing it because that one actually fell down and um, broke. It had a huge pan already in the middle. And what I did is I mixed it up with the highlighters I use on my body. And this is just now my big body highlighter um, yeah, compact. And I used already quite a bit since I repressed it. So I repressed it two weeks ago. I just didn't have time yet to put the video up. And... Um, 
I really like it to literally use it on my legs because it's just nice. It gives a nice sheen. There you go. Just a, let me swatch it maybe here. Just a nice little sheen on the legs when it's warm outside and I just really enjoy that. So yeah, that's that one. Then I still use that little e.l.f. compact, um, which is Neutral Nudes, which I absolutely... These eyeshadows were my favorite for whole year. And as you can see, I used them up. But I use this color and this color now to do my eyebrows. And you can see there's a little dip coming in now. So it's definitely used. And I even, some of the days I even use um, the eyeshadows still. So definitely a good little palette for me. I think I will be quite upset when this one is gone because these neutrals... They're like perfect on my eyes. They're just so good for natural makeup days. I really, really enjoy them. Then powder-wise, I started to use the um, Juno Blur Powder. This powder had like a weird netting, like one of these um, silicon nets on top, which I took out because it was just really tricky to reach the powder. But even then, it was a bit annoying going into stuff. I mean, the packaging itself it looks nice. It's a nice tab and it has like this rose gold sheen on it, which I like. But I filled some of the powder in here, which is my Eve Lom powder, which I finished um, last month. And um, I cleaned that out, if you guys remember. And I just put that powder in here and it works perfectly to have it in here. Because you literally just shake and then you can use the brush and put it on your face. And I really like that. Then my... Primer. That one is still not finished. This is the Maculage Primer, the Dramatic Skin Sensor Base SPF 25. Although I don't think that SPF still works because that one is already three years old and I think SPF after a year goes off. Um, we're nearly done. We're literally down here now. But this is a very fluid primer and you only need a tiny little bit in the middle of your face. I used it every single day and I still only use that much up. So this one... I really can recommend if you have um, oilier skin. This one is perfect in my T-zone. It really keeps it at bay and keeps my T-zone really nice all day. I really like this one. But I also remember this one was really expensive. And this one was anywhere. It was like a special edition with Sailor Moon. So when it's gone, I really will miss it kind of. Because I really like the packaging. But um, I'm glad I used it before it's going off. So, But this is a really, really good primer. It does smell a bit like alcohol though. So if you do not like alcohol, then you might not go for it. Then bronzer-wise... Um, Using this one still, it's going a bit down. I think this one is, it will last forever. How much was in there? 20 grams. This is a 20 grams bronzer. I used it last year already and I used it the year before every now and then. And I use it this year. I enjoy it and I like it and I will continue using it. Then I will add into Project Pan a new mascara. I will add in the one from Bobbi Brown. I have a little sample size. This is just black. I started using it um, two days ago and I really enjoy it so far. So very good. Um, I will also add this one back. And this one was the Clara's um, face mist. And we were here last time. And then I took it out to add the other one in. And now I'm going back to this one. But I will also... Actually, I will not really put an object pan. But I will also use a bit um, this one every now and then. I want to try this one out. The Lacro Makeup Setting Spray. So I will use it just combine with this one. But this will be my main spray. Because it's also it's summertime now coming. And this will be quite a good one to use. Because it's a hydrating one. Then I also used the Colourpop. This one was the Super Shock Shadow in Ultra Twitter Painted Ultra Glitter. Um, this one was really only on the rim. I couldn't really pick it up anymore. So I scraped it out from the rim and patted it back into the middle. This one is nearly gone though. So if I use it as much as I did it last month, um, it probably will be gone next month. So I will do my best um, to finish this one off. And I also still use this one. I really like this one. This is a cream eyeshadow anchors away from Elizabeth Arden. Um, it's getting dried out and the other day, as you can see, let me actually show you. It's coming out now as a palette, which is a bit annoying, but I guess because I use it more, the lid is up more and that means it's also drying out quicker because the more you use products, the more they have a chance to dry out because you open and close them constantly. So yeah, I will continue using this one. I like it and I enjoy it using it. So... Then, oh, actually, this one I forgot. Um, this is from Estee Lauder, the Double Wear Stay in Place Eye Pencil. This one I use nearly every single day, and I have huge progress on that one. So we were up there last time, and now we are down here. So maybe two months left? Yeah, maybe two months. I don't know, because you can't usually sharpen the last bit on that one. Yeah, But yeah, very happy. I enjoy using it. Um, it's a good one. And yeah, that's it. I don't know what else to say. One thing I should maybe mention still... This packaging is super annoying. I don't know how much foundation is left in there, 
I can't open it up. It doesn't, you can't un unscrew it. I tried prying it open, you can't. And um, I can't get the foundation out. I let it settle, pump again, but there is nothing coming out anymore. But it feels like there is still something in there. Super, super, super annoying. So you can see it settled a bit. Like here's a thing where you can actually look through. But for the price you pay for this foundation, the packaging, it looks nice, but it's a super annoying packaging if you really want to use every bit of your foundation. But that's just something I wanted to mention. But that's it for me today. I'm very happy with all the empties, very happy with the progress. And I'll see you next time. Bye.